Astra here in Berlin yes. along with uh, Mike from uh, I Hate God. Mike Nine, yes. <laughs> yeah. So welcome Thank to you. Berlin. Thank Perfect. you very much. Yeah, I've been actually trying to do this interview for last couple of times you were in Berlin. Oh, have you really? Uh, no one mentioned work? it to me, but I would have gladly done it any time. Oh yeah, I think it was uh, something on the yeah. more of a business side thing. So but oh, okay. I'm, I'm super happy that we could uh, do it. So uh, yeah, cool, man. How is the tour going at the moment? Everything's great, man. The tour is fucking fantastic. I mean, it just really started, you know, so we've only done like six or seven shows. So it's just the beginning, really, you know. Yeah, yeah. The geek calendar looks uh, kind of crazy. So uh, yeah, there's like three more weeks left. Yeah, so but it's great so far. Everybody's cool. All the bands are cool. All the bands are great, you know, so. Everybody's getting along so far, <laughs> but everything's cool, man. I'm loving it. Okay, and uh, yeah, how do you survive that kind of tour? So, how what kind of uh, tour life does I Hate God live nowadays? Well, this is a bus tour on a nightliner, so this is very different for I Hate God. We uh, we usually tour in a Sprinter van just because that's just, just how we like to do it, you know. I mean, a bus is possible, but it's just. What's the point, really, you know, um, for us personally, when we do a headlining tour, you know? So we're on the uh, the, the uh, Nightliner with all the bands, Napalm, Rotten Sound, Bat, Misery Index, we're all on the bus. So it's pretty crazy, but everybody's really cool, and so there's not any problems or, you know, everybody's getting along. But I Hate God, like I said, usually sticks to just a Sprinter van, you know? We just like the privacy kind of just being compact like that, you know? Yeah. So it's a little different being on a bus again, you know? We haven't been on a bus in a long time. Okay, uh, let's go to the music then. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I Hate God is such a prolific band. Uh, you were the pioneers, if not the father of Sludge. Ha! So well. <laughs> what has been like over the years and still today, from where do you draw inspiration? From everywhere, from life, I mean, in general, basically, that's really, there's really no more to say, that's that's it, from life, I mean, from things we see, from things we, we just, I don't think any of us would ever want to stop playing music, you know, this is just something we're inspired to do since we were kids, you know, so there's always inspiration and influence everywhere, you know. Uh, yes, uh, as I mentioned, you were pioneering sludge music. So back in the day when uh, this was happening, did it feel like something special was happening? Did you know that you were kind of creating new genre or how was it? No, not at all. No. And I know I've been on record before saying that I don't even like the term sludge. I mean, I see no point in it really, but I get it. It's a, it's a way to explain a genre of music, but... We're just a rock and roll band, you know? If I steal that from Lemmy, you know? I mean, he just said Motorhead's a rock and roll band, and I believe that about us as well. I don't wouldn't put us in any category, you know? But back in the day when we were doing this band, we just wanted to do a band that sounded like bands we liked. You know, so there's influence from all sorts of things. And we all as individuals, me and Jimmy, who are the, the original guys in the band, we listen to different music, you know, totally together. So, I mean, there's so many different influences that go into this to make it sound like I hate God. We didn't ever sit down and say, let's do this and, and make this type of music. We just took our influences and kind of ran with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, New Orleans is, uh, of course, an uh, important city for you, um, well, I've been there, but it was for sure a touristic experience. But what aspects of right. New Orleans are important to you? I mean, it's hard to say. It's just one of those places that I've tried to leave before, and it, it's just it's hard to leave, you know. But I don't know. There's just something about it that, that gets in your blood, you know. And and that's just I don't know. That's a hard question. I mean. What specifically do you mean by that? Like, uh, well, uh, for example, how does it affect you as an artist, the city? There's lots of influence there, you know? Like, like I was saying earlier, I mean, there's just uh, an atmosphere and a vibe there. 
that you can only really know if you visit there or stay there for a, any period of time, you know? Uh, what that vibe is, I can't really explain, but, you know, it's just there. Yeah, so. I think that vibe is the thing that interests people uh, who might have not been there. So uh, what is it all about? <laughs> That's an existential question because I this is that's a deep one, you know. Um, I, I, it's something I can't really explain, to be honest, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, you have been going for well three decades now, so thirty-two uh, years. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, like, uh, what is your secret? What <laughs> keeps you guys like uh, keep on going on all the time? Fuck, um, man. Successfully. We're too stupid to quit. That's one thing. Um, I don't know. We're like a bacteria, you know. We just like keep growing, and we won't go away. But uh, I'm sure some people want us to go away. But I don't know. We just love doing what we do. I mean, that's the main thing. We just still have fun, and we still love it. You know, we always said when it stops being fun that there's no point. You know, but it, it's still great. You know. We love the tour. I mean, t we've been touring nonstop for the past three years. You know, we've been everywhere from South America to Vietnam to Russia to Australia, New Zealand, and everywhere in between. And we want to continue to do that. So it's just a, it's just a nonstop thing, you know. Okay. Uh, is there any uh, thoughts about a new album, maybe? I knew somewhere. you were going to ask that. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess nobody has ever asked you that before. Well, when you, earlier you said prolific, I was thinking, well, maybe prolific in touring, but not so much recording. I mean, we're more of a live band anyway. We're, you know, we're, we like to play live. We think that's where we're best, and that's how we sound best, live. But, uh, yeah, there's a new album recorded. It just needs vocals. It needs to be mixed. It needs artwork and all those things. And and as in true I hate God fashion, we're procrastinating the fuck out of it, you know. It was it's uh I mean it'll come out when it comes out, you know. We're not one of those bands that rushes things like that, you know. Obviously. I mean people know that's an obvious thing, but uh I mean, yeah, we're gonna get that done and hopefully by next year. I say hopefully, but you know it would be nice though. Okay, is there like a team for this album or what is it about? Oh, no. We never have themes for anything. I mean, most of my lyrics don't even make sense. I mean, there's no, like, we don't preach or sing about anything specific, you know? I mean, it's, it's just we like to do it as a feeling, you know? I mean, it's all more of a feeling, like the whole thing just together, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, like you said, uh, 32 years behind you. Is there right. still like, uh, some goal or dream unrealized with I Hate God that you would like to accomplish? <laughs> uh, be a millionaire would be nice. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, no, I mean, we've done everything we've wanted to do so far, but we wanted to just keep doing it more, though, you know? Like I said, put out another album, keep recording, keep touring. Uh, what bands do, you know, that's what bands do. I mean, okay, thank you so much, and uh, break a leg tonight. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Thanks, yep. thank you. <laughs>